electrical tape. Uh, remember guys, GFI, it does have, um, you do have to put the, the terminals in the right places. If it's just one switch, you're going to be putting it on the bottom. The second switch, as you could see, additional load terminals. So you could put this on different loads, different switches, a fan. You know, people usually will put this on the fan for the bathroom. Uh, this way, you know, if there's a short, anything to do with water, you're still protected with this, all right? That's the reason why they have, uh, you have to put them in the right places and make sure you put everything in series, um, you know, with each other, all right, parallel, you know, whatever. Um, but, you know, whatever you're wiring, obviously, your diagram is how it's going to be to protect it is what you're going to do. This is going to be a simple installation. You're, this is just straightforward, simple. Um, this is like a do-it-yourselfer. Anyone can do the, what I'm doing right here. That's what this is intended for. Um, I wouldn't recommend you trying to jump this to a bunch of stuff and then it's not protected and then it's not done properly. All right. So if you're not a professional or don't do it for a living or whatever, I wouldn't recommend you trying to put other terminals and protect it all on the one switch without really getting it checked by someone. All right. Just switching out this one switch. It's a very simple thing, but starting to wire it to different devices to make sure that you are covered for those devices, depending on their power load. Like there's factors that you guys have to check out, all right? I, I just don't want you guys being irresponsible and doing stuff like that. It doesn't really make sense, all right? Now, this one is different, as you can see, guys. The Legrand, okay, as you guys can see right here. Um, I won't be able to show you the working, obviously, because this one burned out like I told you, all right? But this is what they look like. There's that photo cell. And as you can see, see the ground on the bottom, the ground on the bottom. They have the sticker on the bottom for this one. And then the sticker is on the top for the Legrand. Okay. I don't, it's just, you know, however they make it. I don't know. I don't really, you know, whatever. But uh, let's, uh, let's do this up here. All right, guys, uh, as you guys can see, like I said, um, th they are a little bit different from the back to the front. Um, this one has the this one has the clamp that kind of clamps down on it when you screw. This one more has it inside. All right. I don't know. Whatever preference that you like, they're both going to work the same. I mean, I, I don't you know, I don't really look at that stuff. What I look for is. Me, I want the thing just to last long without user error. I mean, if I reuse it wrong and it breaks, that's my fault. But uh, what I'm looking for is longevity. This is not a big thing for me. I could just put those in. I don't see a problem with that. I don't see a quality issue uh, of the difference of those at all. All right. And then the ground, they're very easy. You just push them in, you know, push them in like that. And then you're just going to tighten it up. All right. Now, this is a plastic box in here. So technically, you really don't have to tape it. A lot of people in the commercial field, uh, mostly everything's metal. They don't really do plastic so much uh, unless, I don't know, maybe, maybe they do it now to save money. I'm not sure. But they used to only do metal for commercial just because there's different restrictions. You're in charge of more people's lives or whatever. This has a, a plastic box. So you really don't really need to use tape if you don't want. I, uh, I just use the tape anyway. Um, just in case, you know, I, next time I'm the one that works on everything this way, when I pull it out, I don't have to be afraid about pulling it out or checking anything. Uh, I have this wrapped around it. If you need to check for power with your pins, they slip right under the tape. Uh, there's no big problem. I never have a problem with taping it. I've only had good outcomes really, uh, from taping outlets. I've never really had an outcome where I taped it and it turned out really bad. You know, uh, just to let you guys know, it kind of made sense to always tape it. I just never had a problem. All right, guys, I, I taped mine up. It's really good. I put my ground on the bottom all the time. Uh, I, it doesn't, I don't know where you are, or what you do, because I've seen it go up or down everywhere in every state and every borough. You name it, I've seen it up or down. Uh, so I don't even know what to tell you guys, but I always put mine down because every plug that I buy or 99% of the plugs that I buy are always, um, made with the ground down where the, you know, the weight of the plug is, you know, on the same side of the ground. You know what I mean? Uh, that's the reason why I put the ground on the bottom because majority of the plugs are made like that. This way, when you plug it in, it'll be fine. If you have 
yours with the ground up and you put it in and the plug goes this way and there's weight on it, it always falls out. It starts to damage this and then you don't get a long time. Once the pins, there's little uh, grooves in here, uh, s slots. Once these stretch out for whatever reason, I don't know, once these stretch out, they stop gripping and everything. You can mess with your plug and bend it out just to make it work for that day or whatever, but I would, you know, change it out for a permanent solution and repair it, not like play games with the plug and stuff like that, all right? Now, before you tighten it, make sure yours is, uh, you know, even, even Steven, the best you can. All right, perfect. All right, I'm gonna put my ugly cover on. Actually, I'm not even gonna put the cover on. All right, uh, we're gonna test this out, see what it looks like. I'm not gonna put the cover on because it's brown. It looks like poops, and you're gonna put a different cover on anyway, you know what I mean? This was just to, you know, really just for this. Ew. Look what they give you in the box. I just noticed. Uh, I, I've seen this, uh, you know, recently. Back in the day, I didn't see this. They put uh, little stickers in here to help you guys when you're labeling your wires. It's pretty cool. All right, let's, uh, let's turn off the lights. Oh. I'm so dumb. Forgot to push the thing. There it is. How do you guys like it? What do you think? I'm going to block the, the thing. Oh, I got to go about six feet away. One second. This is like six. Okay. This is like six feet away uh, from where the other one was installed. All right. Let me cover the window the best I could like I did. So we have the same, uh, you know, we have the same base that we're testing on here. All right. So this is covered completely. This is what it's going to look like. Um, I do. This one seems like it's what? More blue? Does this one, this one, in, uh, at least to me, this one seems like it's more blue uh, than the other ones that I did um, install. I could just be crazy. Maybe I'm colorblind and don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, but that's what it looks like. It has the side on there. Um, do I have anything cool to plug in? Yes. Let's plug a plug in so you guys can see. The hell? All right. That's what it's going to look like with a plug. So you're going to have another one in there. Not too bad. It's Like I said, it's not going to... I'm just checking if it shadows. Some of them, when you plug in, when I first got these nightlight outlets, when you installed them, they were... Um, uh, when you would uh, plug it in, the plug would block the the bar, and then there was no point of having the nightlight. It was didn't make sense. This one's a lot better is what I can see. You put it on, it's still going to shine out the side. I guess uh, this is just the newer one. I said I, I started installing these about 10 years ago, when I 12 years ago maybe, when I first started seeing them. I was like, oh, these are so helpful for me when I get up at night. I got to go to the bathroom. I'm sorry. I have a, I'm a little man, so you know what I mean? A little man, I have to go to the bathroom a lot more than other people. Sorry. Uh, but anyway, um, that's what's up. And there we go. Now it turned off. That's pretty cool. I mean, I think it's cool. I think it's good. I'm, uh, you know, I do not know the difference between the other ones, but it seems to work out. And I think it's a good safety thing for people to have, especially in kids' rooms, uh, to have night lights and stuff. Those are really cool. Not this one. I wouldn't get this one in your kids' room. I'd get the other ones, the ones that they can play with and stuff. They'd have more entertainment. This one's, this one I would just do the bathroom and the kitchen. I wouldn't really do any other rooms with this one. All right, everyone. So that's it for Glenn Velvet Reviews on the installation of the GFCI outlet that we got over here, all right? Um, it was a pretty simple installation is what you guys can see, all right? If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. I would love to know. Also, subscribe to my channel. Join me on my review adventures as I try to put up stuff to help out the community, just like I get help from the community, all right? And if you can, unless you dislike me for any reason, you can support the channel by clicking on the affiliate links below. Also, I saw that there's uh, new ways that you can support the channel on YouTube, uh, which is kind of cool. Um, and if you do decide to support the channel in any way, make sure you check on back to the channel. Make sure I'm putting that support back into the channel. I keep getting stuff to review. I keep updating this stuff. And also, I answer questions and help you guys out while you're doing, um, while you're buying stuff or you're dealing with problems. I'm able to help you, my subscribers out as well. All right. So that's kind of cool. All right, but that's it. Glenn Velvet Reviews is out. Bye-bye, everybody.